Hi everyone, Lori here. Tonight what we're going to cook is a chicken pot pie. And I've got my chicken here and I've cooked it all day long in the crock pot. And what you see on top of there is rosemary. Because what I did, I put uh, four of the bouillon cubes into the crock pot, some about probably a cup of water, the two uh, boneless chicken breasts, and then I sprinkled the rosemary in there and nothing else. Put nothing else in there. Um, so now the other ingredients that you're going to need, uh, the deep dish pie shells, which I still have those in the freezer right now, but I've got the pepper, the salt, we have a cup of green beans, which equals out you know, to probably about a can. Uh, we have peas and carrots, and these are all frozen. And then we have already cut up potatoes here. We have uh, corn and lima beans. I'm gonna go ahead and cut up fresh celery and uh, some onion, and that's a yellow onion. And then I've already got some of the broth that I had cooked the chicken in, so I already put that into the pot. And then I've got two cans, or uh, excuse me, this is kind of like two cans. You want two cans of chicken broth to put add in there with it. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in. And we're gonna add the salt and pepper and kind of go ahead and get that cooking. And while that's doing that, we're gonna cut up the onion and the celery. Okay. okay, back over to the cutting part of it. And what I have out first is my celery, and I've already washed this off. So we'll just get, tear off the extra pieces. Because I, I like to use this piece too, but we'll cut off the ends. Just start dicing. Peeled here. Try not to take it all off like I did last time. Get the outer skin off. Then we'll get our onion chopped up. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and <clears throat> usually I would have um, probably flipped over the cutting board, but I'm going to go ahead and get out a new one. Even though it would have been okay cutting vegetables first, you just don't want to cut up chicken and put it on uh, and then cut your vegetables up on the same cutting board. You'd want to flip it once you start cutting up your vegetables. So I want to go ahead and kind of point that out. So we're going to go ahead and cut up our chicken. And I'm gonna go ahead and do both of these because I've made, I'm gonna make two pot pies is what I'm gonna do. And this is real tender, so, but I'm trying to kind of get it in some chunks too. But it'll probably still kind of shred out. But. have to cut it in bigger chunks because it's gonna, as you 
as I put it in the broth, it's going to spread out a little bit. That's what it did last time. This is two complete boneless chicken breast here. Okay, so now that that's going like that, we're going to go ahead and put the onion and the celery in here to kind of get it tenderized a little bit. Saute. bit tender and then we'll add the other ingredients. Okay, so now we're back at it. We've had this, this has only been boiling for five, ten minutes at the most, and it's got it tender enough where we're going to go ahead and add the other vegetables in. So we've got uh, green beans, we have peas and carrots, we have our potatoes, This is what you normally call succotash, which is the corn and the lima beans. You can find it, because I'm going to tell you a different way here in a moment to do this instead of doing it from all frozen vegetables. Go ahead and add in our chicken. Kind of stir this all together. And then to get this thickened up, which I did forget to tell you all, I have, uh, it's three tablespoons of cornstarch, and it's heaping tablespoons of cornstarch. And then I mixed it in with some water, and I'm going to pour that into here. And we're going to let this get heated up, and then as it heats up, it'll thicken up. And then that's when we'll begin to put it into our pie shells. So we'll just kind of and then we'll come back and when this kind of gets thickened up and then we'll put it in the pie shell and show you that. Okay, so this is now ready to take off of the stove and we're ready to put it into our pie shells. And now what I've done here, I've had two of my pie shells already sitting out uh, for about five minutes. And uh, that way it gets a little soft so we can form it onto our other pie shell. So we're going to take and I'm going to make two pies here. So you can see the, how thick it's gotten, okay? And then we've had our, we put our oven on 350. And we've had it already warming up. And we're going to take Lightly pull that, let it kind of fall out to your hand, and then we're going to take, just slowly put it and form it onto the pie, okay, and then we'll press around it. And 
then what I do is take my knife, just for kind of decorative purposes. Do this. Make an extra little one here. And then we're going to pop this into the oven and we're going to let it bake for one hour. For one hour at 350 degrees. Okay? So, uh, I want to go ahead, before I fill the other one up, I want to go ahead and tell you what the recipe is that my mom had written down. And it makes it a little easier instead of using the fresh vegetables. What you can do, and I still have it in her handwriting, um, you can take, uh, you buy one deep dish pie shell, it gives you the top and the bottom, and you take one can of mixed vegetables, two cans of chicken broth, and then half an, half of an onion, and then like two of the celery stalks. That's all you need to make this deep dish pie. And then you also, of course, need um, boneless chicken breast, and that would make you one pie. So that just gives you the ingredients for the one, one case scenario. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill up this other one, pop them in the microwave, or in the oven, and we'll see you in an hour. Oh, this is going to be so good. Fill that baby up nice and deep. All these ingredients. It's thick. Just what you want to have. A little more in, then we'll cover this one up. Take the other pie shell that we've had sitting out for a little bit and I'll lightly go around to make it loose. Okay, we've gone all around it. Now we're just going to pull lightly. See it already came apart a little bit there, but that's okay. There, it's coming off real easy now. There we go. Now we'll just kind of spin this around. over real nice. Put it on there. Pinch the edges all the way around. So you never even miss that piece that fell off. Just get this pinched all the way around. Okay. Nice and pretty. Take a knife and make it decorative. Okay, now we're ready to pop these into the oven. to pop these babies in there. I've already pre-lined the shelf with aluminum foil so it'll catch any drippings that come off. So we'll just place those in there. Okay. And once again, we've got that at 350 for one hour and we'll see you back here in a bit. Okay, so now it's time to pull the pot pies out. Oh, look at that. So now it's time to dish out the pot pie. Let's see how this thing turned out.
there we have mom's plate fixed. Okay, so now I've plated mine and David's plate. And I'm going to go ahead and give this pot pie a taste here. Hmm. Very good. Perfect. Make it, you'll love it.